Yes, you heard correctly. If you are a Barefoot email subscriber, you would have received an email from Scott himself on the 26th of June, outlining his intention to close down the Barefoot Blueprint email. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I'll run through today in a video what my thoughts are about this up front, what it means to you, and what impact this will have, if any, if you're part of the Barefoot Blueprint itself. Now, whilst this title might sound a little bit clickbaity, what it is, is Scott's closing down the Barefoot Blueprint, which is his financial newsletter that provides personal tips on economics, superannuation, interest rates, cash, fixed interest, all those sorts of different things. In this Barefoot Blueprint, Scott also offers personal share advice for some people and looking at the threads on Reddit, it seems that a few of the people that have followed this advice are a little bit concerned about this being closed down. Looking beyond this email, the intention behind this for Scott is actually a really good one. You see, he's closing down this barefoot blueprint to open up a non-for-profit financial counseling service. The idea of this is to help those people that can't reach advice through normal channels to gain access to advice that they otherwise wouldn't be able to get. Now, I told you I'd share my personal opinion on this and it's it's really hard to knock this from Scott. I think it's a, a really noble and honorable thing to be doing this, to use the platform that he's built from his successful book sales to now start this non-for-profit financial counseling service. As advisors, the people that he'll be helping in this scenario would theoretically be those ones that can't normally gain access to people like us. It's not through lack of wanting to do this, it's just commercially, it's very difficult to offer advice to these people on a one-on-one -on -one basis. For you as a reader of The Barefoot Investor, this is exactly the type of advice that you're looking for. It's that one-to-many type advice that is a guiding principle for you to set up the framework of your financial situation going forward. Now, in some of my other videos, I have highlighted some areas that I, I don't necessarily agree or I believe there's some additional work that needs to be done, particularly on the insurance side of things as far as Scott's advice goes. But on the whole, I believe that the foundations that Scott lays out for you in his book are really important important, uh, including the buckets, uh, paying down non-deductible debt, getting a low-cost super fund, all these sort of things are really beneficial. There are plenty of advisors that knock Scott's advice, and I too have been one of those ones that have added to some of the things that Scott's mentioned, again, particularly in that insurance area, but it's really difficult to come at it from a negative point of view when he's doing something such as opening up this non-for-profit financial counselling service. So to you, Scott, Congratulations on using the platform that you've built for such a noble act. How will this effect change you? So if you're a barefoot reader, this has absolutely no impact on you at all. There's no change to the fact that he's still gonna be delivering his blog and his books and all those sorts of things. But if you are a Barefoot Blueprint subscriber, there are a couple of things that you might need to note. As I mentioned earlier, reading through some of the blog posts and online pages from those who have purchased the shares on the advice of Scott, there's some questions around what to do with the shares that you've now bought, considering there won't be any further advice being given as to whether to sell, hold or buy more of the shares that you already have. One particular reader was looking at selling all of their shares and looking to invest in an index fund sort of thing. There can be some severe tax consequences for doing this. And if you are in that position, I'd suggest reaching out to somebody looking at what you've got in place and getting a second opinion as to what might be the most suitable strategy for you based on your personal circumstances. Now, I believe that until the 31st of December this year, Scott will be packaging up all the emails that he's sent to date and offering these for sale for a cost. I'm not sure what that will be, but I've seen some numbers thrown around that'll be around that $400 mark. Again, if you are part of this Barefoot Blueprint, it might be worth looking at that if that would be something that would be meaningful for you to have a historical reference for what the advice had been over the journey from Scott's Barefoot Blueprint. Now, as you know from this channel, I'm not an investment specialist. So if you are in a position that you're looking to either sell, buy, dispose of, or just need advice on your investments, I'd suggest reaching out to somebody who can give you a second opinion on this. If you need some help, drop me a note and I'll try and put you in touch with somebody from my network that I trust who might be able to guide you in the right way. If you're a barefoot reader and not part of the Blueprint newsletter, as I mentioned, there's no real impact to you. What I do think this does is signal the fact that the advice that's provided in the book, as Scott mentions himself, is general in nature and is designed to give you a good foundation. Now, if you do require further personalization or some extended advice on that, then he does encourage you to seek 
alternate advice or outside advice when you need to build on the foundations that are built through that book. What does this mean moving forward? Now, as I mentioned, I think this is an amazing move by Scott to use the platform that is built off the back of his book sale success to improve the financial lives of as many Australians as he can. I think that we should be very grateful to see this as advisors to see more people get access to advice that otherwise wouldn't be able to seek this from financial planners. Now, it's naive to think that he hasn't had a huge impact on people's lives and there's a lot of trust that's been established and built through Scott. So I think for those people that could gain benefit to this not-for-profit financial counselling service, this will provide an amazing platform to be able to get some extended and more personalised advice than what can be found in a book. I have been contacted by Scott's publisher in the past and, and they've seen these videos. So if you are watching, I'd be more than happy to help if I could when it comes to assisting with some of the insurance claims. If that's an area that could help through that non-for-profit financial counselling service as well. So if you would like to reach out, please do so. Now I know this video is not very insurance-y and if you had seen other videos on this channel, that is my area of expertise. But having commented on a lot of Scott's work before, I thought it was important to bring you this update. So Scott, again, congratulations with the success you've had with the book and good on you for giving this a go to set up this non-for-profit platform to help those in need to gain access to that more personalized financial advice.